So deep breathing, from that point you're going to go over to the axilla, working side of the body, and you want to go right into the armpit region. So hand right here in the armpit, we're going to stretch the skin in and up, going towards the way we want this fluid to drain, which is right up here. So stretching the skin in and up, a gentle massage, just enough skin contact and pressure that you're able to stretch the skin, very light. So you will do your five repetitions and repeat it three times for a total of 15. Once that's complete, we're going to go down the side of the body. Now let me explain, when we're going down the side of the body, you want to imagine that there is a line that's traversing or going across the belly button that divides the upper part of the trunk from the lower part. The left upper quadrant of the trunk drains the lymphatic vessels in this area which connects to the um, axilla and then it drains to the supraclavicular fossa. With some exception, the deltoid and you have some paraspinal lymph nodes, but for our purposes, everything is going to drain to the armpit or to the axillary region. So with this imaginary line, because these two regions of the trunk don't connect to each other, they don't communicate or share boundaries for the most part. So these two areas are separate. They don't communicate and lymphatic fluid drains to different areas. What we're going to try to do, because we are rewriting fluid from the genital region and the lower abdomen and the legs to a healthy quadrant where it is able to process the lymphatic fluid, the lymph nodes, um, the initial lymphatic vessels are all intact. What we want to do is create a connection called an anastomosis. So we're going to get to that in the next step after this one. Uh, imagining this line at the middle of the body. Belly button right here, middle of the trunk right here. We're going to start in this area for the sequence, this next phase. We're going to stretch the skin in and up. And again, you would actually be on the skin. You wouldn't be doing this over the clothing, ideally. So stretching in and up, overlapping, going up the side of the body to the axilla. Roughly five repetitions here, but however many it takes to cover all of the skin surface gently stretching the skin up toward the axilla. So you do three sets of that, and then you go to the middle of the body to this imaginary line. So you do three sets of five, stretching the skin in and up. A total of 15 times, with a pressure phase going up towards the axilla. From that point, you're going to go on down to the lower part of the body, to just below um, your hip area, we're going to do the same sequence of stretching the skin, okay, in and up, and you're going to do that all the way up the hip area, and you're going to continue up the side of the body. So you're going to continue this sequence, doing 15 total. You can do your first set of five, and then you can go all the way up, your second set of five, and then you can go all the way up, and then the third set. From that point, you're going to go over here to the abdomen. In the abdominal region, this is below the belly button because that quadrant drains to the inguinal lymph nodes, and some of them we're going to assume in this scenario have been removed. So we're going to decongest this area, and we're just going to, for simplicity's sake, imagine three lines, and you're going to go across those three lines. So the belly button is here. This is the lower quadrant. We're going to take three lines. And we're going to do this technique where we're stretching the skin over and up, over and up, over and up, over and up, to this side that we have decongested. So we'll do five repetitions. We'll do a sequence of one, a sequence of two, and then the third sequence all the way across, and then we're going to go up the side of the body. We're going to repeat that three lines, up the side of the body, third repetition, each of these three lines and up the side of the body. Now at this point you're going to go down to the front of the thigh and you're going to repeat the sequence that you did on the lower abdomen to the upper part of the thigh. So you're going to do an imaginary line across here, across here, and just for good measure we can go a little bit lower. So roughly three lines.